Silver Spring, Maryland at a park next to Sligo Creek. Sligo Creek. Beautiful park. Highly maintained. We're in Montgomery County, which has a pretty awesome resources for county plant and park management. They have a lot of money and uh, like there's county employed arborists and all that and you can get the county to help you with like lawn trees if you want to get a cool tree installed. So we're at the park. It is December 22nd. Windy, chilly, plus seven Celsius out right now. And the plant I'm, the tree I'm looking at is this one. I don't know what it is, but let's see it in the frame. See at the very tip of my finger, there's like a light blue, almost white thing. And there's like a few of them. Do you see them by my finger? Those belong to this tree. It is some kind of plod, which in Russian is like the fruit. Can you see them on the end of these? They're actually quite large. And it's also interesting because, uh, so we're in December, this tree has no leaves, but the, the fruits, the, sh the seed pods are still up there, which is just kind of interesting. So I started looking around on the ground for seeds. Wow, that's a really big seed pod. Let's get a look inside one. Maybe we can see what it's like. So look, I found two already. This one's even bigger. Look at this. This is like bigger than my whole hand. No, not, is it bigger than my hand? It's almost the size of my hand. All right, forest forensics, here we go. Pretty easy to break, oh yeah. What is all that? So this looks like, it's something green for sure. Here are the beans. I'm gonna smell it, you guys. I like to get as much of a different sensory information as I can. What I'm gonna sm smell for is whether it smells rotten or fresh. Let's smell. Don't put it up too close to your nose. Uh, waft, especially if you suspect it's getting rotten. This is getting rotten. But this smaller one, which I already opened, this is how it looks. It almost looks like seaweed or something in there. So that would be like the food for the bean or the thing that attracts an animal, right? You've got the bean and then you've got like the nutrition or whatever. I'm gonna smell this one too. This one doesn't have much of a smell. It smells pretty fresh, which is so interesting. I guess this green stuff, I wonder what it was like when it was ripe. The reason I'm asking is always because I want to know if we can eat it. That's my main motivation because if you can eat, look at how big these beans are. If these are edible, you could just like walk down here and pick up a few beans and throw them in your soup whenever you want. And it's like, wow, free, amazing, delicious beans. I bet they're not edible, but we're going to find out. We are going to find out. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Forensics next time. Good morning everyone. It is now the next day after I was in the park in the previous video and based on some online sleuthing I believe I know what uh, what the tree was. I believe it is a Kentucky coffee tree otherwise known as, I have it written down, Juminocladus dioecus in the Fabaceae family, which is of course Fabaceae, like fava is the bean family. And you know, pretty much any time you have a tree or a plant that's making beans, you can be fairly confident that's in the Fabaceae family. Um, and uh, this tree is, uh, according to Wikipedia, people, native people use it as, uh, they can roast, the beans and then they are edible but they're not edible before roasting and your mileage may vary as they say i haven't tried it i'm i don't know maybe i'll try it one day but it's really cool to discover and one of the things that really helped me uh sort of make an identification is that montgomery county has an online tree map for all of their parks um, as I mentioned before, Montgomery County is very serious about trees, 
there's even they have a whole website like tree montgomery county something like that where you can learn about trees and see this map it's an interactive online map where they have every tree in their whole park system mapped and you can click on them and find out what species it is and all that so that's what i think it is um i initially started making the id because i searched like montgomery county maryland like seed pod tree large seed pod tree and like one of the pictures looked kind of like it because not every tree has such a big seed pod obviously and kind of from there i i narrowed it down so that's my story about the forest forensics and now we know there's a kentucky coffee tree there and may this be helpful for you and good luck on your own forest forensics projects Till next time.